everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have really big hair. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, but I tried a new product that I got um, from Influencer, but I'm like looking in the viewfinder and my hair just looks bigger. It looks bigger and it's not even fully dry, which is crazy. I will be doing a review on these products soon. They're the Zotos About Curls. You can get it at Sally's. I had mentioned it in my um, Instagram. I really, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's get into the real reason that I am doing this video. This is the Panners Pan. This was created by Liz or Kooky Pans on Instagram, and it is paying homage to our favorite Panners, and I love it. It is a forever project. It is boosting the community and um, showing some love to Panners, which, you know, I'm all about. And, um, yeah, I am sadly going to say I don't have any empties. I didn't expect to because the 10 people that I started with, I picked some harder products for them. And I was originally going to do goals, but I think I'm going to finish them. I, I had really thought about switching them up and doing goals. But the more I play with this stuff the, and, and the fact that it is a long-term project, the more I think, you know what? If some people stay in longer than others, that's just the way it is. And it's a forever project as far as I'm concerned. It can go on for quite some time. So, um, no goals except for to finish all of these products eventually. Eventually. Some will be done sooner. Some will be done later. All right, starting with my girl, Amanda, who um, has been making me laugh. We've been chatting um, on the computer. She makes me laugh sometimes. Um, this is for her. This is the Max Azria BCBG. It is one of her absolute favorite perfumes. And hopefully you can see the lines. I was at the purple and now I'm just below it at the red because as you can see, it starts to get much, much wider. So I think once um, I get to the widest portion of this bottle, I'll start to make some really good progress. Until then, I'm just gonna keep enjoying it. It's going to be around for months and months. I'm okay with that, I'm enjoying it. And um, surprisingly, my husband doesn't normally like fruity scents, but he keeps telling me every time I wear it, he's like, mm, you smell really nice. I'm going to take that as a good thing. So, yep, just going to keep on working on this and enjoying it. All right, next up is for Paula. I feel like me and Amanda and Paula kind of like have this bond thing now after doing the dreaded experiment together. So naturally I had to put her second. Um, I am working on the Bath & Body Works White Ginger and Amber Shower Gel. Ironically, she put the body spray version of this in her intro for me. It is too funny. Like the exact same smell, just I have the shower gel and she has the body spray. See, we are on the same page. You can see where I started and where I am now. If I was to hold it a little bit straight, that would be nice. Um, notice the big jump. And that is, um, it's kind of leaking a little bit. Um, that is because I had been working on a, another shower gel. That is now done. So my focus is 100% on this one. So you will start noticing um, the bigger progress each month. That is probably going to be one of the first ones that I am done with in this project. But that's okay. I'm okay with that. One that's going to be hanging out for a little bit is for Liz, Cookie Pants, the creator of this project. And this is for um, the, her gorgeous eye color. I just, I love her eyes. They're so intense and I love them. Um, this is Blue Moon by Bare Minerals. Um, I haven't really drawn a line because it's kind of hard to tell. It doesn't quite settle properly and there's a sifter in it. So it's just very awkward. And there's not enough product in here that the weights are really going to change. So until I pull the sifter out, I'm not going to be able to get a good accurate um, description of how um, much is being used. I probably should pull the sifter out. You know, you know how it is. But surprisingly, I'm actually enjoying this a whole lot, which is rare for me in a blue eyeshadow. I am wearing it today. I actually have it over top of a light green to give it like that teal shade to kind of go with the whole color scheme that I have going on here. And I liked it. I like it like that. So um, I'm going to find creative ways to use it so it's not always looking blue and it will eventually get done. All right, for my girl, Dana, she she likes some sparklies on her eyes sometimes and she loves Urban Decay. Um, I am working on the Urban Decay Vice Special Effects and Regulate. This is technically a lip topper. I use it on my eyes. 
Um, I probably have only used this twice since the last update. And um, you will notice that this update is only about three weeks since the last one because December is like finale month. And I didn't want to do like um, updates in the beginning of the month and then do finales at the end of the month. That's basically double the work. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I am pushing all of my forever or recurring projects, the ones that are going to continue on towards the beginning of the month so that I can get the finales at the end of the month. So that's why it's a little bit early, so a little less progress. So I am working on it. It's just not um, amazing progress. And I forgot to tell you, I used um, the light blue, I think it was four times in the last month. All right, moving on to Alex Alejandro Lissette. She's my lip liner girl. She is the queen of panning lip liners. Um, I only used this five times, which I actually do have it on today. And I did sharpen it. Um, you can see what it looks like there. Um, I was frantically trying to finish another lip liner, which it's done. So this is my primary go-to right now, even though I have other lip liners in projects. I tend to only work on one at a time. And this is the one that I'm gonna be working on. All right, for my girl Nona, I chose this Palooza from the Uh-huh Honey palette because we did a look together from that palette. Surprisingly, surprisingly, I wore this four times since the last update, which doesn't sound like a ton when you're trying to pan something, but it's straight up glitter. And I can't wear glitter every day. I just can't do it. I'm enjoying it. That's going to be in for a very long time because it does not take a whole lot and like it gets on you and it sticks and you know, then it's everywhere for days. So you only have to wear it like once or twice a week and then you have glitter all week long. All right, moving on to Amber F because she is the palette queen. She is the pan that palette queen because she created it. So I pulled this out of the Naked 2. I had depotted it like a year or so ago. This one is Tease. I only use this once since the last update because there is a shadow that I'm working on that's almost identical in color that I really need to get finished by the end of the year where this project is like rolling and continuing. So this one got put on the back burner for now, but as soon as that shadow is done and I hit pan on it today, it's a tiny one, a little tiny one. Um, as soon as that's done, then I'm going to work on tees. All right, last two for Claire Elizabeth, my girl Claire, if you did not see um, my small talk shout out, she was in that. You need to go check her out. She is awesomeness. Um, I am working on this Coastal Scents light pink hot pot and I love it. I have really expanded the pan on this and I think I'm going to work on trying to hit side pan by the next update. I love this one. I put it on my inner corners. I would say like five to seven times a week. There are a few times when I don't um, if it just really clashes with whatever I'm wearing that day, but um, I wear it frequently. And I have actually worn it, not today, but I have worn it as an actual face highlight, which, you know, if I'm doing cool colors, I kind of like that. And my phone is ringing. Is it anyone important? Probably not. I get solicitors all the time, so pick up, hang up. That's what I do. Um, all right, last one is for Rebecca panning and stuff. She's like my lipstick queen. I am working on this from Jane Iredale. I actually, I am actually wearing it right now and I've only worn it twice, including today. Um, cause you know, there was lip products, much like the lip liner that were working in conjunction with one another that I was trying to finish. They're done. So now it is on, it is on. Those are my updates. I don't think I'm going to have any empties by the next update, but I'm going to have some major, major progress on some of these. And, um, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to pan this or not, or pan this, the press it into a pan or not. Um, I need to wait until my, um, end of the year makeup empties video. I have some empty pans, but they will, they, I finished them this year, so they need to go in that video. So if I'm going to re press this or press this, I should say into a pan, it would have to be after that. So it probably would be like mid January before I could press it. I guess I'll see what I can do with progress between now and then. And hopefully, hopefully I won't be enough that I need to press it into a big pan. So we shall see, but I'm going to wrap it up. All of the people that I have here that I have, um, picked a product for, I'm going to put down below. So if you want to go check them out, 
and um, two of them are only on Instagram. That would be Liz, the creator, Kooky Pans, or Dana, Eyeshadow Junkie at Heart. Um, yeah, they are just on Instagram. Everyone else is on YouTube. And yeah, I think that's it. All right. <laughs> I'm like all over the place tonight. I had a little sugar earlier. Probably shouldn't have done that. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.